All right, tonight's target is uh, the Andromeda Galaxy M31. I've done this galaxy plenty of times in the past, but never was able to get pretty much the entire galaxy, even with the Framing Mosaic Wizard. Got the whole galaxy, but it just took so long because you had to put all the different plates, all the palettes all together. But tonight is my first light of my refractor telescope. I picked up a Skywatcher, uh, it's an 80 millimeter refractor from High Point got to use from them and I don't have a focal reducer I'm just using the straight telescope and it's mounted on my AVX and I had to also get a 50 millimeter uh, guide scope from uh, for that refractor and here is a non-stretched image of Andromeda let me go ahead and um, stretch it just on high right here and you can see pretty much almost the entire galaxy is in this one frame. I know it's a little bit bigger around here, but majority of the galaxy, and there's a small galaxy, is all pretty much in one frame. And I'm on filter blue right now. And since this was a first light, all I did was um, I did luminance, red, green, and blue filters, three minutes each, and did 10 on luminance, 16 on red, 16 on green, and 16 on blue. But these last two are pretty much almost, they're almost done now. Another 42 minutes remaining and it's so clear outside that I might bump these numbers up to like 25 or 30 and just see what happens. Also, I'm a little worried that maybe this refractor might hit my legs on the AVX mount when it's almost up in the meridian. I don't know. My, my 8SC never did. But I, that's one thing I didn't, I didn't really check out on this new refractor. But uh, hopefully it runs well. And guiding, only thing I did on guiding tonight was uh, I did one calibration and I know I need to make some changes I was just so anxious to get out and test everything but that 50 millimeter guide scope you can see it's a little bit wider view and it's still holding tight with the low star and look at these that must be backlash from the AVX but here's my numbers right now I mean RA is 1.17 this is declination is 0.81 earlier declination was down in the 40s and RA was down in the 90s so I'm not sure because maybe the telescope's getting higher up towards Meridian right now or maybe because of all this backlash. And also I had to make some adjustments in PHD2 uh, to reflect the new guide scope. And in Sequence Generator Pro I had to make some adjustments to reflect the new scope and, you know, pixel, all that kind of stuff so that some of the numbers could actually go together. I noticed my dither settings um, was a little bit aggressive when it did the dither between so many frames. So I adjusted that and it's not as aggressive now, but I know I need to make some changes on these numbers on my settings here for um, for guiding. But so far, my stars, let me go back over here and stretch a little bit higher and zoom in a little bit. So far, my stars look pretty round, even around the edges. Maybe because this is an 80 millimeter refractor versus my it has see that is over a thousand millimeter refractor, even with the focal reducer. And I still probably would want to get a focal reducer for this scope just to um, widen things a tad bit more. But so far, almost the entire galaxy is in here. So hopefully everything comes out nicely. Uh, here's my mean readout, which is like 2869. But it seems like things are going pretty well to be a first light and for everything to pretty much work on the first go without me having a lot of failures or anything. My guiding before I go to bed, declination is down to 0.41, RA is down to right at 1.01 .01 or 1.00 and still holding pretty good. I mean, my stars are still round. I added some more frames to it. So it's, it's been going for two hours and 36 minutes. I've added another three hours and 18 minutes because the sky is so clear and the forecast looks like it's gonna be clear the entire night until about six in the morning. So I went on and bumped it on up to 35 uh, red, 35 green, 35 blue. My luminance, I went up to just 15. And this is still considered the first light on the refractor, the 80, 80 millimeter.